The Bordeaux region may be famous the world over for its incredible wines, but you ask any local and they'll tell you that it's the history and the architecture which truly deserves top billing. I am sitting in one of the most historic and important wine districts of Bordeaux. Welcome to Saint-Emilion, absolutely stunning. Saint-Emilion is a town full of beauty, recently recognised by UNESCO for its stunning vineyards and surrounding landscapes. This town really is my favourite. Well, this is magical. Yes, it is. You have seen one of the old gate. Yeah. We're in the medieval village, and uh, people were really frightened in the Middle Age because of the different uh, battles and wars, yep. and most of all because of the 100 Years War, which was a war between the French and the English army. Which so, went for 100 years? Yes. Oof, that's a long fight. Now, when it comes to European holiday destinations, France ranks as one of my all-time favourites. My next stop? is the fortified town of Cognac, home to some of the finest brandies in the world. They say necessity is the mother of all invention. If a little group of industrious men back in the early 1700s hadn't found a way to turn their undrinkable, acidic wine into something extraordinary, the very industry that made this town famous would not exist. 700,000 people visit this little town every year, but when they arrive here, they discover that the views are just as delicious as the very Cognac itself. Now I've chosen to tour the town of Cognac for my scenic free choice activity with local guide Astrid Weisenborn. So when did this town first get established? Oh, it was the Romans started here. So the Romans were here before Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. But it never really kind of flourished until cognac was truly invented. Yeah. yeah? Baron Ortard is one of a select few privileged distilleries within the city walls. The distillery sits inside the beautiful Chateau de Cognac, which is also the birthplace of French King Francois I. The chateau dates back to the 16th century. But the jewel in Baron Ottard's crown lies beneath. Now this looks like it's been aging for quite some time. Yes, since 1990, more or less. Mm -hmm. So for 20, 25 years. And so what's the value of all the cognac in these rooms? In these rooms, it could be more than one billion dollars. One billion dollars? Yeah. Wow. These impressive cellars were established in the late 1700s with just the right mix of humidity and temperature to help create those powerful fortified aromas. Now the oak barrels are also closely guarded by friendly spiders. They help keep the termites at bay. So the spiders are our friends here? They're quite our friends, yeah. Right. Are they drunk? Totally. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not a fairy tale, that's not a legend. Because of the evaporation of cognac, they are totally drunk. How do you know they're drunk? Because you can see the shape of the web, that's totally disorganized. Normally, that's quite concentric. Really? But here, it's totally disorganized. I've never met a drunk spider. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> At the end of the chateau and cellar tour is, of course, the piece de resistance, the tasting. Oh. So the first mouthful is always intense. And then after the second mouthful, it's much more enjoyable. Okay. Mm. You're right. You can feel? That's much nicer. Yeah. Next, we're heading to find out more about the delicious delicacy of foie gras. Although the quality and taste have remained, farms like Bion are now placing greater emphasis on free range and ethical production. Good on them. Is this something that the French have on a regular basis or every week? No, no, I, no. For some time in, in the year, for the anniversary, for the ah. big, big, big party. Big party. So just, 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 just for yeah. celebration. Yeah. Six. Why? 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 Expensive. Oh, it's too expensive. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so you use the geese. Yeah. They protect the ducks. Yeah. Really? The bird. From the bird. From the blackbird. Blackbird. Really? 
the farm offers both goose and duck foie gras with just two simple seasonings, pepper and salt. Very nice. I love the, the peppercorn in there too. Fredbol, mm. why is this your favorite? Because it's the plus fin, the plus, the plus moelleux, the, the plus onctueux. The texture? The texture, moelleux, fin, finesse. It's more, yeah. more of a finesse flavor? Because ah. mm -hmm. the foie gras n'est que celui-ci. And is there an aging yeah. process with this, or is it no, uh, no, no, immediate? No. There's no fermentation. No, 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 rien. Mm. Nothing. Salt, pepper, tout, mm. at all. Très bon. 